Hey everyone, I'm Dustin. I have nearly 20 years experience in the bike and e-bike industry. And today I'm gonna to answer the question, do you need gears on your e-trike or tricycle? Stick around. All right, so today I'm gonna to answer the question, do you need gears or speeds on your tricycle or electric tricycle? Before I get into it, hit subscribe, Stay in touch with us here at 630. Be the first to know about all the new content we're putting out, giveaways we do, and new product releases. So hit subscribe. All right, so you're in the market for an electric trike or a tricycle, and you're wondering, do I need gears? Do I need speeds? Great question. I see a lot of tricycles out there, um, single speeds. I see a seven speed. This is a 630 Every Journey 250 watt electric trike. We have a seven speed derailleur system on this. It's not linked to the actual electric. It's just seven speed so you can ride it as a normal uh, tricycle without the electric. The, question, the answer to this question is it really depends on the type of riding you're going to do. A single speed tricycle, if you're gonna do riding under three miles an hour and zero hills, very flat ground, um, a single speed would suit you just fine in those conditions. Um, the one caveat is you're only going to have one gear. And when I say that, I mean you're only going to have one rear cog and one rear uh, chain wheel in the front here, meaning you've only got one level of pedal resistance. So whoever manufactures that tricycle is going to try to put together the one gear uh, that they feel is optimal and will provide the optimal resistance on the pedals to uh, provide the best riding experience. The configuration of the front cog and the rear uh, chain wheel is what's going to set the resistance and really dictate how easy or hard is it to pedal and also how fast can you get the tricycle going in that one speed. Typically on a bike, the harder it is to pedal, uh, the faster it will allow you to go as you build up momentum. The easier it is to pedal, you're going to be pedaling faster, um, but you're going to be uh, not getting as much resistance, meaning you're going to go slower. So first gear is usually easier to pedal and it's ideal for hills. The higher gears are usually harder to pedal, your pedaling slows down, but you've got more resistance and it's going to allow the bike to go faster. So if you're relying on a single speed, you're hoping the manufacturer finds that one gear that they think is best for you. This is why I really like three speeds or seven speeds, at least three speeds, because it gives you some range variation. You've got a, a, one, a one gear, first gear, that's gonna be easy to pedal. So if you're just getting going or you're doing slight hills, you can put it into first and it's easy to pedal, um, making it easy on you, easier on you to get up hills, things like that. And then you have a seventh gear. So as you build momentum on flat ground, you're hitting top speeds, you can put it into seventh. Again, if you stick to the single speed, which under three miles an hour, basic paved, paved riding, it should be okay. But you're all, like I said, you're relying on the manufacturer that they're gonna hit that exact gear that they think is right for you. With a three speed or a seven speed, you have options and you can choose at any given moment. Do I like the three? speed or the third gear? Do I like the fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear, seventh gear? More than likely, you're going to like um, one or two or three gears. Like if you have a seven speed, you may not use all seven speeds. You may use the first gear for your basic starting up and around the town um, or sorry, starting up or just getting going or up hills. And as you work your way up, you may land in like a four or five gear uh, for your around town basic riding. And then as you start to want to go faster, you probably end up in seventh gear. Let me just do a quick demonstration here and I'll show you. Um, so right now, as an example, I have it in fifth gear. And you can see in the higher gears, it's a little bit harder for me to get going. So I'm gonna shift it down into first. And now once I put it into first, it becomes real easy to pedal. And there's less resistance, so I can just start moving my legs real fast. And then once you get going, that's when you start to put it into the higher gears. Now I'm in seventh and gets a little harder, but I can start really picking up the pace. I don't have a lot of runway here. And in this case on the seven speed, it's a very simple process. I can just twist it down to shift down and you twist it up, up to uh, shift up, excuse me. And I really like first gear 
for starting. So you can see um, in first gear. And another thing I wanna point out is just if a bike has a one speed, it doesn't mean that the one speed is gonna be the same as the first gear here. Usually that one speed is gonna be like some combination of a three, four, five. Cause they're trying to find that middle ground speed that's gonna be good for all purpose. So the one speed on a seven speed is gonna be easier to pedal than a one speed cruiser. So you can see when I put it into first, it's just so easy for me to get my pedals moving, easy on my legs. And then again, um, as I get moving, shift it up and I can put it in a, you know, level four to just do my cruising. And then one thing I like to do is when I come to a stop is get it down to first gear. So for the next time when I get going, it's already in that uh, easy gear because you can't shift bikes with an external derailleur when you're stopped. You have to be shifting while you're moving because the chain changes uh, sprockets. That's how it shift gears and it needs to be moving in order to shift the chain, to move the chain. So if you shift gears while you're stationary, when you start riding, it's gonna be real clunky and the chain's gonna try to move. Um, and sometimes that creates the chain falling off and can cause other issues. So downshift before you stop, get it in the gear you want so the next time you get riding, it's all set up for you. So. That's why I believe three speed or seven speed is a great option for a tricycle or an electric tricycle. If you have any other questions at all, please comment below or shoot us an email, the team at 630.com, or you can call us 310-982-2877. And you can find the 630 Every Journey Electric Trike 250 watt on our website right now, 630.com. And if you're in the market for a bike or an e-trike or a trike and you don't know what you're looking for, take the proprietary body fit quiz on our website answer a few questions about your body and your life. We'll recommend the perfect bike, e-bike, or trike for you. And we have a 30-day test ride your bike policy. If you don't love it in the first 30 days, send it back, no questions asked, no money out of your pocket. In addition to that, join our community, our Facebook peddlers group, and download our app. Great places to connect with other riders before you purchase. Ask them questions about 630 products or other bikes, and you can get familiar with what would be right for you. Then after you have your 630, join the groups, make new friends, track your rides on the app. It is a ton of fun. So thanks for sticking around and don't forget, it's your journey, your experience, enjoy the ride.